good morning students after completing electrolysis let us move towards the another chapter mole concept and stereochemistry as we know that because of the this covid situation icc has reduced some points so as per this chapter the point which we have to take that is a vapor density vapor density vapor density is the ratio of the mass of a certain volume of a gas or vapor to the mass of an equal volume of hydrogen under the same condition of temperature and pressure if you want to write the formula for that it is the ratio of mass of certain volume of gas at stp divided by mass of an equal volume of hydrogen at stp stp means stp standard temperature pressure or one more formula is there for vapor density vd is molecular weight divided by 2 and if you want to find molecular weight and vapor density is given so 2 into vd these two formulas are very important so keep in mind vapor density is equal to molecular weight divided by 2 or molecular weight is equal to 2 into vapor density for example let us see suppose the question is given like this first example is there find the vapor density of so2 find the vd of so2 sulfur dioxide as we know that sulfur atomic weight is 32 oxygen atomic weight is 16 so let us first of all find molecular weight of so2 molecular weight means relative atomic mass that is ram so 32 into 1 plus 16 into 2 why we have taken 1 because sulfur having only one atom so 32 into 1 and this oxygen having two atoms so 16 into 2 so 32 plus this 32 so it will become 64 so molecular weight of sulfur dioxide is 64 as per the formula vapor density is equal to molecular weight by 2 so this will become 64 by 2 that is 32 so vd of so2 is 32 if you solve like this then you will get two marks suppose uh, let us see one or two more examples based on this only find the vapor density of find the vapor density of nh3 so first of all let us find the molecular weight of nh3 so it will become 14 Plus one into three, so fourteen plus three that is seventeen. Okay, so molecular weight it will become seventeen, and put it into the formula. V D is equal to molecular weight divided by two, so seventeen by two, it will become eight point five. So this is your vapor density of ammonia. in the same way you can find it for others also uh, suppose it is given for carbon dioxide first of all find the molecular weight of carbon dioxide divide it by 2 you will get the vapor density of that particular compound after this i am giving you few examples to practice at home uh, and while doing that examples if you are getting any problem then you can contact me carbon dioxide 
you can take uh, ethylene that is uh, C2H2 you can take acetic acid then P2O5 um, then SO3 H2SO4 then uh, like this this example you solve then also if you are facing any problem you can contact me next point is that detection of simple empirical formula and molecular formula so let us see what do you mean by empirical formula Empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio between the atoms of an element present in a molecule of a compound. It is the simplest ratio of whole number between the atoms of the elements present in a molecule of a compound so molecular formula means what it is a chemical formula which tells us the actual number of atoms of each element present in that compound suppose we have uh, carbon dioxide so carbon and oxygen were two atoms two elements combine with one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen in this way we can easily find out the number of this so let us see the empirical formula how we can find the empirical formula suppose we have the uh, any one compound like benzene C6H6 now empirical formula means what it will give you the whole number ratio between the atoms which are present in that molecule of a compound now here two elements were there carbon and hydrogen carbon having six atom hydrogen having six atom so when we take the six is to six it will get cancelled and the ratio will become one is to one so the new empirical formula of glucose sorry benzene is ch One is to one means CH. Suppose we uh, we have to see the empirical formula of ethylene. Its formula is C two H four. Now your ratio is two is to four. Carbon two and hydrogen four, so two is to four. So when we cancel it, two ones are two twos are. So the new ratio will be like this. One atom of carbon and two atoms of hydrogen. So your new empirical formula of ethylene will be CH two, one C and two H two. Okay. In the same way, suppose we have glucose. The formula is C six H twelve O six. So ratio is six is to twelve is to six. So everything is. Cutting by six, six ones are six twos are and six ones are. So your empirical formula formula will be CH two O. In the same way, you can take some more examples also. With the help of that, we can easily find out the empirical formula of other uh, this compounds also. Hydrogen peroxide H two O two. So its formula will become H O. Two is two two. It will get cancelled. One is to one, and this hydrogen oxygen. Like this, the empirical formula easily we can find out with the help of this method. Now, uh, the next point is how we can find out the molecular formula of any of the compound. For finding the molecular formula of compound, we have to use some formulas. Some suppose molecular formula is equal to 
इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला एन ऑफ इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला एन ऑफ इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला मीन्स द नंबर ऑफ एन इट विल मल्टीप्लाइड द इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला सो हाउ वी कैन फाइंड एन एन इज नथिंग बट मॉलिकुलर वेट डिवाइड बाय इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला वेट सपोज दिस वी हैव इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला सी एच टू ओ सो वेन वी फाइंड द मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला इट विल बिकम इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला वेट ओके सो मॉलिकुलर वेट जस्ट नाव आई टोल्ड यू हाउ वी कैन फाइंड इट रैम इज नथिंग बट द मॉलिकुलर वेट एंड इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला वेट सो दिस वेन वी एड ऑल दिस वन इन वन अनादर देन वी विल गेट इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला वेट ओके देन इफ आफ्टर फाइंडिंग एन इफ यू हैव एन देन वी कैन फाइंड इट लाइक दिस टू इन टू वी डी बाय इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला वेट सपोज इन एनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वेव पर डेंसिटी इज गिवेन देन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला वी कैन फाइंड आउट द एन ऑफ दैट कंपाउंड लेट एस सी वन एग्जाम्पल फॉर फाइंडिंग इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला ऑफ द कंपाउंड द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस डिटरमाइंड द डिटरमाइंड द इम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला of a compound containing carbon 75% and hydrogen 25% so for finding the proportion or empirical formula first of all we have to draw one table which should have few columns six column should be there 1 2 3 4 and this 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 the first column should be labeled with the elements second column percentage the percentage which is given in the question percent of element second atomic weight the third column will be relative number of atom the next column will be simplest ratio and the last one is empirical formula like this the table will be closed now here how many elements given carbon and hydrogen so carbon and hydrogen percentage carbon with 75% hydrogen with 25% okay atomic weight of carbon 12 atomic weight of hydrogen 1 now here we have to relative number of atom 75 divided by 12 and here 25 divided by 1 so the answer will become 6.25 and this will become 25 okay now in the simplest ratio do one thing divide this same ratio with the lowest one now here among this 6.25 25 6.25 is the lowest one so divide it by 6.25 by 6.25 this 25 by 6.25 so the answer will become 1 and here it will become um, 4 so your empirical formula will become carbon with one atom and hydrogen with four so your new empirical formula will ch4 that is carbon sorry methane let us see the one more example the question like this an acid of phosphorus has the following percent composition phosphorus 38.27% then oxygen that is 59.26% the third element is hydrogen that is 2.47% 
find the empirical formula of that acid and its molecular weight so let us draw the table for that always draw that table which should have this five column one two three four and five so the first column with the element second percent composition third atomic weight fourth relative number of atoms and the last simplest ratio that is ef so which which element phosphorus oxygen and the third one is hydrogen okay phosphorus 38.27% oxygen 59.26% and hydrogen 2.47% atomic weight of phosphorus is 31 oxygen 16 hydrogen 1 so this 38.27 divided by 31 so it will become 1.23 oxygen this 59.26% divided by 16 so it will become 3.71 this hydrogen 2.47 divided by 1 so it will 2.47 now after finding uh, relative number of atoms choose the smallest among this three 1.23 is smallest among 3.71 and 2.47 so all this three decimals it should be divided by 1.23 so 1.23 divided by 1.23 3.71 divided by 1.23 and this 2.47 divided by 1.23 so this will become 1 here this it will become 3 and this will become 2 so your new empirical formula will be phosphorus 1 oxygen 3 hydrogen 2 but this type of compound is not there so rearrange the rearrange this so the empirical formula will become h2 po3 this is your empirical formula of the acid of phosphorus hydrogen trioxide so today we will stop here only now the next example we will take in the class till then children good day